I'm Chris Trott with Team TaylorMade, joined by Brooke Henderson. Welcome. Thank you. This is your what's in the bag. You are the pinup athlete for us when it comes to equipment. <laughs> Everything's pretty much new in here right now, right? Yes, yeah, that's right. Experiencing a lot of success with it, enjoying it? Yeah, I love it. Super happy I made the switch. So you say the switch, P770s is what you have from five iron through to pitching wedge mm -hmm. with, for all of our golf guys and girls out there, Modus 3, NS Pros, Tor 105 Flex S. Tell us about the switch and what changes you made. You went from 790, right? Yeah, so I had the 790s at the beginning of the season and I just switched over to the 770s um, a few weeks ago. And it still is very forgiving, but it has great feel and I can feel I can be a little bit more consistent with my yardages, okay. um, which is really important out on tour is, you know, try to hit your gaps and, and make sure you're hitting a lot of greens. The golf ball, while we get onto it, because anytime anyone gets a fitting out there, you're in the TP5X. Mm -hmm. When you look at yardages, you look at peat height, you look at descent angles. Did the golf ball change come into looking at that? Did you ever consider the 5 versus the 5X? Uh, you know, I started playing the TP5X at uh, the beginning of last year, 2022, and found so much success with it. You know, last year was one of uh, my most successful years out on tour. Um, so it was complete in everything I was looking for. Um, and the switch to it was, you know, really, really easy. Um, and then just coming into this year, I was looking forward to another successful year and it's been working out really well. Segwaying into, you talk about spin around the greens, you've got the 60 with 10 bounce, all standard now, the 54 with the standard 11 and the 50 with the standard nine. These are mill grind threes, a very classic looking wedge. But what was the decisions behind this? What made you get into these? Well, like you said, they're really pretty, <laughs> which makes it really cool. nice. It is. They're really um, easy to look at, which is good and uh, really versatile. So I can use them a bunch of different lies and in different conditions. They work just as well, um, but very consistent and great feel around the greens, which is what you want. These are in good shape. Um, how often do you change your wedges? Uh, I guess this is my third set this year. So okay. I've gone through them quite a bit. Uh, my sister really pushes me to practice my wedges. So maybe that's why. <laughs> and what will you see or what will your sister call out when she's like, look, you need to get new wedges. We're seeing, what are you seeing that makes you choose something new in the wedge? Area? Um, yeah, maybe just not grabbing uh, quite as well. Um, I just switched to these ones last week and right away it was like grabbing uh, really quickly and um, yeah, it was just holding a lot better. And like I said, I practice a lot, so the grooves get worn down a little bit, but um, you know, overall, it's nice just to get a fresh set um, and feel good. Interesting thing that I saw there, and I knew there was something, different grips on your wedges versus your irons. What's mm -hmm. the thinking there? Um, yeah, well, I love these grips. I think they're super fun, um, but with my irons, I like to have the ribbed in the back okay. um, so, so, that I, feel so that I can feel it um, yeah. just for alignment purposes and yeah, good feel. So I like to feel that rib there um, in so the just irons. Just to explain that, some of the grips in the irons for Brooke has a ridge down the back. You can see these ones have tailor made on the back. So with wedge play, and I don't want to put words into your mouth, but obviously when you change the face angle by having a round, mm -hmm. the rib doesn't move into uncomfortable places, right? Yeah, so you want to round with the wedge so you can open the face or shut it down a little bit easier. Um, so it's not an awkward feeling, um, but with the irons, you know, generally faces square. Um, so that feeling in the back of my hands feels good. So uh, looks is important in golf clubs, we'll get into that, but also let's talk about looks in head covers. You've got this beautiful <laughs> one here on your three wood, and also this has caught my eye. Let's start with that, that is under a five wood for you but tell us a bit about this head cover um yeah so this head cover is actually the henderson coat of arms um so we're from scottish descent and you know the motto i guess is virtue alone and nobles um so it's kind of inspiring to look down at um, and just kind of bring some of the family history while i'm out there on the course and scotland's never going to hurt you usually <laughs> in a golf environment That's and right. then we've got this one here which is recently from yeah so the newest major uh, so taylor made hooked us up with really awesome golf bags and head covers uh, for our first major of the year uh, chevron championship and so i stole this one and i'm still using it because <laughs> i think it's pretty cool i like it we won't tell anyone <laughs> and then you've got stealth two pluses in the fairway woods in a three and a five you've got the weight almost to the back but not quite as far back in your three wood if you can tell us a bit about why or what that gives you golf shaft wise pretty similar but different feel as well tell us what you're looking for in those um, yeah, you know, that's really where um, Glenn and TaylorMade really come in with fitting me and making sure I'm in the proper stuff. And, you know, Britt keeps a good eye on me as well, my coach, just making sure that uh, all the equipment that I have is set uh, to where I can perform my best. So, you know what, 
beginning of the year. Um, I wasn't hitting it quite as consistently, so we fiddled around with the weights a little bit. Um, we got them in a good spot now where it's a really nice flight and yeah. um, going straight, which is good. I like about you, you're such a player that the equipment you leave to the people that do the equipment and hey, <laughs> your sister gives you a tap on the shoulder when you need the new wedges. TPT shaft in this and obviously in lower, you have the face angle wide open so you can see the twist face moves away. Is that something that you wanted? I mean, it's obviously a huge advantage about the clubs that Taylor made that you can adjust them to get a certain yardage or did you want a certain face angle? Um, yeah, yardage um, and flight is probably the okay. most important thing to me. Um, you know, if it's performing, then I love the way it looks. Yeah, exactly, don't we all? So, so I just kind of go with, uh, you know, the numbers that I want and how the shot shape looks up in the air. Um, and then leave the rest, like you said, to kind of the people that know it a little bit more than I do. Um, so as long as it's working, then it's perfect. I think that's what we see with our athletes as well. A lot of you work it out. And even there, when I pull the Stealth 2 Plus fairway wood, I look down and see 19 and a half and then think, okay, how's this work? But obviously the sleeve is in higher. Mm -hmm. So that actually weakens that. So again, this rescue then sits nicely in with the 770 set. Anything you see about that that made you attracted to that club? Um, yeah, so I was really trying to fill a gap uh, between my five iron and my five wood here. Um, something that was pretty easy. Uh, they didn't have to work too hard to fill that yardage gap, um, and this is the perfect club for it. Um, I was in the four hybrid earlier this year, but decided that the three rescue um, just filled that gap a little bit nicer, um, and having it in the high, it's just going a little bit um, better flight as well. Um, but the look, I've never had a three rescue before, so the look was a little bit skinnier, um, but it, it's great, and I've been really enjoying using it. You must have seen a big difference out the rough versus long irons, right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit um, easier to hit yeah. all around, you know, fairway, rough, in a lot of different conditions. Yeah. And then to sort of put a cherry on top before we get into the putter, this is the Stealth Plus 2 nine degree weight a little bit in the heel what's the reasoning for that you've got this one in standard a little bit longer maybe as well is it um well yeah I, I used to love the 48 inch driver until they took that away from me so this is 46 so the longest uh, length shaft that you can have okay. um, that's allowed out on tour um, but I love driver driver's always been my favorite club in the bag um, and I have a lot of confidence in this one um, I'm working and you know tweaking to see a little bit more of a, a draw shape to gain a little bit extra yardage um but Hence the weight in the heel yeah so um that's the ideal but you know i have a lot of confidence in this club and that's a great feeling when you step up under the first tee so let's just talk about the money maker the putter we've seen you hold some great putts with this this is the gtx it's black with the white true path just tell us a little bit about what made you decide to get into this putter um yeah so i, I love center shafted putters um, i feel like it's really easy to line up the ball um, get it started online which is key um, also yeah this um, white here with the line has been really helpful to make sure i'm getting it um, started on the line that I want and just the overall balance of this putter um, really drew me to it and just the overall feel you know you want to feel like you can make every putt out there um, and with this in my hand I do. It's such a, a smart look such a professional look and I believe that you're recently carrying just to follow off the whole look a, a custom tee peg right? Yeah I'm super excited about it I've always wanted my own custom tee and so now I have the BH on the top and the tailor made down the side in, in red. red yes yeah. in Canada red so it's really perfect. Well that's when you know you've made it when you've got your own tee peg <laughs> tailor made it's awesome. Brooke it's great to have you with us you're, you're such a, an insight into golf clubs and such a professional in the way it's all done. We wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Bye.